<laughs> I just had a thought. I just had a funny thought. I just thought it was really, really funny. <laughs> I made a video about that there's the myth of atheism neutrality, you know. That there's a myth of this neutrality. The atheists come across and say, we are objective, we're the scientific ones, you Christians are, and we're coming and we want scientific information about whether Christianity is true or not, and we're objective. And I do feel at times that it comes across as if you're not objective. And I come up with this argument based on Dutch Reformed uh, theologian. Um, and basically the argument is that as human beings, we're actually rational and moral. The two go together, okay? And this idea that we can come at things objectively, scientifically, without recognising the moral aspect of our nature is just delusional, that the two are interconnected. And if you look at the Enlightenment in the early Enlightenment, that when they thought of rational thought, they thought of rational thought and morality as together, that humans had this rationality and this morality, okay? But as the Enlightenment developed and as, as uh, modern uh, humanity developed, the, the moral and the rational uh, separated and so the dialogue and the the uh, discourse within uh, Western culture it became about rationality and science and the morality of it just petered out all right uh, but the point is is that we are we are both rational and moral what that means is the moral as a as a massive impact on how we think rationally so how we are mor moral and what we think is moral uh, will prejudice our, our reasoning. So for example when an atheist comes to the Bible and says I am looking at the Bible rationally and objectively um, they morally uh, are perhaps gay or they accept think that gay is is being right. Uh, so if they think that they come to the Bible they're going to be prejudiced towards the Bible uh, and not looking at look at it in an objective rational way they're going to have these uh, presupp you know, sort of moral uh, presuppositions that, that uh, not presuppositions, wrong word, but just moral uh, views that, that will influence their interpretation of the Bible and, and the rejection of the Bible, not based on rationality, but based on uh, their morality. So they're gay, or they believe that gays are right, they read the Bible, the Bible condemns being gay. It's going to be hard to look at the Bible in an objective way if you're taking that position on a particular moral issue you see. So I made this video about this and the atheists were saying well it's just uh, silly this because it's rational to take the position that being gay is okay. Now I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I, I believe the Bible's the word of God and whatever the Bible says goes for me alright so I'm not, I'm not here to pick on gays or anything like that um, you know, so it, this isn't about homosexuality or anything like that. This is a, I'm just arguing about rationality. What is rational? And uh, the atheists are saying it's rational to say that gay, being gay is right. Because if you look at nature, you can analyse nature and find in nature, as we analyse things in zoology, etc. <laughs> that <laughs> that it, being gay is rational. <laughs> this is what the atheists have been saying. <laughs> I've got no no problems with uh, gay people. I love gay people. I think uh, you know, but when the atheists start arguing like that. It just makes me laugh because if that's the case, how many gay apes do you know? <laughs> How many gay apes do you know? I mean, I mean, is there a gay colony of apes somewhere? We don't know that, that you atheists are kind of up on. Uh, that you go out and study at night and, and research and go look at these gay apes and analyse them. Come back and say we've got this scientific information that being gays are right because we've been studying these apes. I mean, come on, atheist. That kind of argument that you can look at nature and, and say that you can prove your moral position on on being gay is right 
uh, the, the, my contention is that we, uh, uh, this isn't uh, a video about being gay, even though it's going to be called the Gay Apes. Um, <laughs> it's it's about rationality and about how we, uh, how we, how the morality interacts with rationality and how that influences us in reading text. And my my contention is that we have positions on morality, whether it would be in gay or whatever. It could be any other issue, and whatever moral position we hold to, when we say we come to a religious text objectively, that's not completely true. We we bring in these moral issues, uh, all right. So um, so this this isn't a debate or argument about being gay. Uh, this is just a, an argument about uh, being <clears throat> rational and moral, and our morality influences our rationality okay Davia Wood a Dutch reform uh, philosopher written a lot about this moral morality influencing r rationality he's ri written a lot on, on it and then there's a philosopher called Michael Polanyi of science who's written a lot on this um, and I'm just using their arguments against atheism to say that when you're re reading a religious text you are not doing it objectively. You have got moral issues that are colouring your reading of the religious text. So you're automatically going to reject the religious text, not based on rationality or objective rationality, but upon your prejudice that or particular morality that you've got. All right, that that the Bible doesn't teach. Okay, and that's not based on the rational. That's based on your whatever morality that you have. All right. And then to try and say, well, my morality is rational, and to argue uh, from nature, you get silly contradictions like you can also prove it the other way. You could use arguments the other way. We don't see any gay apes. <laughs> well, I haven't seen any. <laughs> Has anybody seen any gay apes at the zoo? <laughs> I just think it's funny that the UA atheist can try and argue something like that. Just come on, atheist. Just be straight and honest. All right. So take care. God bless you. Uh, let us know what you think. Uh, all the best to the gay community out there. Um, Jesus died for you, gave his life for you, and he's there for you if you would turn to him and trust in him. Repent, it says in the Bible, and trust in him. But also... Uh, not not just gay people, but you know Christians need to repent and believe in Jesus if they're not walking right. Uh, atheists need to, uh, and everybody else needs to. So it's not just one particular group. It's all of us need to turn to Jesus and trust in Him, according to my uh, religious text, the Bible, which says, "For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes on Him shall not perish but have eternal life." So Christ died for all people, everyone, and there is no discrimination. Take care and God bless and uh, see you around.